Well, hello, Thelma. How are you? Hello. Good evening, teacher. I I feel fine. All right, great. Okay. And you, teacher? I, I'm doing great. Getting ready for Friday, right? Okay. <laughs> It's, it's already, good. Yeah, get ready for the weekend. Get ready for the weekend. And okay. do you have any plans for this weekend? Yes. Um, the next Saturday, I'm going to uh, visit a uh, beauty salon. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> and, uh, yes. That's uh, makeup. Make a, uh, ah, a beauty girl. <laughs> yes. All right. That's awesome, right? You go get, every now and then, it's always good to go to the beauty salon, right? Get things done or whatever. And yes. I myself, I'm going to get my haircut this weekend, right? So I cut my own hair. I cut my own hair. I have my own clippers. So I do it myself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you use, uh, do you uh, cut my your your hair? Yes, your... I cut my hair. I cut my hair myself. Yo solo. Very I... very cute. Ah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I cut it. I cut it myself. Right. So I have my okay. own clippers. I get my mirror right, and then I I just cut my hair like this. Okay, is she oh professional? <laughs> you you are professional. In this. <laughs> so okay. I cut it. So tomorrow, tomorrow I will cut it. That way you'll be for ready for the weekend. Tomorrow in the morning. So okay. yeah, I put my chair, get my clippers, and put the guards and get ready. Cut my wow. Arm. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, okay. I hope you feel ready, <laughs> ready. Yeah, of Beauty. course, of course, right, of course. Okay, welcome, uh, Janari, Carla, and Alvin also, right? How are you today? Everything good? Good evening, teacher. Hi. Are you ready for the weekend? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that's great, that's great. What about you, Alvin? You ready? Good teacher. A oh. little bit sick today, but oh, I hope you feel but better. But I'm good. Yeah, right. thank you. Right. right, great. Let me see. Let me. Okay. All right, so we're going to continue with the activities today. There, there probably there there won't be time to do another presentation or nothing like that because we are we're we have to finish this, and Monday will be the last day of last day of class, right? Uh, on Monday, and have you received the? Ya recibieron la información? Did you receive the information? By yeah. administration? All right, yes, great. Right. Yes. All right, great. For email and WhatsApp. All right, great, great. Just like I had mentioned it on Wednesday, right? You were going to get it on e on your email and WhatsApp. And uh, we will do it on Monday, okay? We will do that on Monday. Did you receive it, Alvin? Yes? All right, great. Yeah, on WhatsApp, teacher. Okay. What about on your email? Did you get it on your email? No. No. Not in my email. No. Can no you, yet. Not yet. Can you check right now? Okay. All right. And let me know. All right. Let me see. Hello, Carlos and Jackie. Welcome. Doris. All right. Okay, I see your message. Hello, teacher. Hi, welcome, welcome. Mm -hmm. Right, so it, it's Friday, and it's going to be not not too heavy today. It's going to be a little relaxing, right? And I do not plan to leave any homework for the weekend, so you can enjoy it. And 
all we're going to do is try to finish on page 38 and do page 39 and if we have time we can do a little bit of page 40 or another activity let me see All right. so we are almost through we are almost finished No All teacher, right, so, okay, I yeah. didn't receive it. Okay, you only got it through WhatsApp. Yeah. Okay. Um, I I received the email. Okay, thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Great. All right. Let me see. All right. Now, um. Can you read, please, um, Thelma? Can you read the topic here, the agenda for today? Okay, teacher. Okay. You need four inventory, count program and benefits. Create in groups a cycle count program Friday December 1st 2021 with teacher Mr. Henry intermediate four class number 24. Very good very good thank you Thelma excellent well done so we're going today we're going to work today with what is called um account program right when when we did an activity here in class remember it was the the activity where I told you to do something brief. ¿Se acuerdan de esa actividad? Where you had to give me, bueno, para los que lo hicieron, you, you know what I'm talking about, where we had to do on page, um, where you had to do something brief. Do you remember that? Where you had to give in your own words in regards to inventory, in regards to inventory. And I believe it was on page, um, let me see, on page 36, right? On page 36, number six, when you have to do that activity, it's going to be a little related to that. Right? It's going to be related to that. You see here. Um, okay, Jackie, no problem. Thank you for notifying me. All right. But we are going, it's related to that topic but more in detail. And what am I talking about? What am I referring to? We're going to do something on page 38, the second part of page 38. And what I'm talking about, I'm talking about this on page 38, where we did a little bit of the suffixes. And then at the bottom is totally something totally different from the suffixes topic. And we didn't we didn't uh, get to finish it yesterday because it was it's a whole new topic it, ha it, it has nothing to do with the with the uh verb and the noun like we were doing yesterday right this is totally different and we're going to concentrate on this topic because after i mentioned to you some of the things that that you're going to do then you're going to create your own your own but you're going to do it in groups as a group different groups but i will explain it better when we get to that part all right i'm just giving you a little feed a little rundown of what to be what is to be expected on this activity right? now before we go to this part let me take the first attendance all right, let me take the first attendance. Uh, let's begin. Abigail. Abigail. Okay, thank you. Blanca. Blanca. Okay, not here. Brenda. Brenda. Right. Here, not connected. Carlos. Carlos. All right. 
Doris? Present. Okay, thank you. Edwin. Edwin. Present. Okay, thank Present. you. All right, thank you. Francisco? Francisco? Okay, not here. Freddy's. I'm here, teacher. All right, thank you. Glenda? Glenda? All right, Iris? Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Present. Okay, Glenda, catch. I see you right there. Uh, uh, it is, it is, okay, not here, Jackie, oh, I know you're not home yet, present, oh, I see your message, Jarvin, okay, he's connecting right now, Jennifer, Jennifer, okay, not here, Juan Jose, Juan Jose, all right, not here, Carla, present, Okay, thank you. Neftali? Neftali? Okay, not here. Rolando? Rolando? All right, I think you're here. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Telma? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Janari? I'm here. Okay, thank you. Let me see. Alvin? Present teacher. All right, thank you. All right, so we have two, four, six, eight, nine. Fourteen. All right. Okay, it's fourteen of us here. Let's continue. Now When we, when I mentioned to you earlier, a few minutes ago, remember that I mentioned that this is related to the, to the activity that, that um, you sent me on page 36, right? On page 36, number six. This is in relation to that, to that um, activity in regards to the topic that we're about to see today. Remember, everything goes connected, right? Everything is connected. So from page 36 to 38 to 39, there's a, there's a relevance of vocabulary and ideology relating to counting when we're talking about inventory, inventory. Now, okay. uh, the topic on page 30, 38, can you read, please, um, Alvin? Number the steps for a simple counting program. Compare answers with another pair. All right, very good. Now here, we're going to do it together here in class so you can understand when the time comes for you to do it in groups. You're going to be doing it with your other classmates. You're going to do something similar here but in your own words, right? En sus propias palabras van a ser uno similar, but not the same. Um, basically, accounting program. How are you going to follow a guide when you are going to count your inventory? Tiene que haber una, un, un modelo, unas reglas estipuladas. How are you going to do your counting process when we're dealing with inventory. You can't just say, okay, today we're going to do it this way, and next week we're going to do it this way, and maybe next week we're going to do your idea, and maybe your idea later. No, you have to establish a protocol, a counting program of how you are going to establish such act. And to do that, we're going to do this together in class so you can have a better idea of what I'm talking about. Now, when we did the activity on page 36, remember I asked you to do a basic 
plan. Do you remember that on page 36? Do you remember doing that activity for those of you, para aquellos que lo hicieron? Right? Telma, you remember doing that activity where you had to do the, the basic um, the basic plan of, for page 36? Yes, teacher. All right. Yeah, I remember. All right. So it's similar. It's similar to this activity. Por eso se la dejé bien simple, ¿sabes? And now it's going to be a little bit more complicated. Aquí es un poquito más complicado. So, let's continue. Num it says number the steps, right? So you're going to number them. How do you think it should be done? En la forma en cual se debe de hacer. But we're going to do it in class. But you can look at it and maybe analyze it. And let's read it. Let's read it so we can comprehend what we're looking at. Read the first one, please, Thelma. Right here, the first sentence. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number first. Number one. Select. Ah, be yeah, okay. Excuse me. Number one. Or a step. Number or one. step one, yes. Yeah. Perfect. It's much better like that. Step. Yes. Select. 200 items. Items. Excuse me. Excuse me. 200 items or parts or products or finished goods from your inventory for week one. All right. So here is giving, is giving you already the answer, right? Esta sería la número uno. But that doesn't mean que la que sigue la dos, tres, no, no, right? It's just giving you the first one. Number two could be over here, over here, or over here. But we're going to do it together, all right? So don't worry about it. You don't have to be like, oh, I don't know what this is about, right? Or I don't know what's going on here. This is basically a counting program. Un programa de conteo is really what it is. Now, the first thing we're going to do is select 200 items, parts or products, or finished goods. It depends whatever you have in inventory, right? You could have pants, you could have shoes, you could have cell phones, whatever, computers, whatever product you may have, or parts. I think uh, um, Carlos mentioned something about machine parts, right? And it could be any of those things. But it's 200. I'm going to select 200 from your inventory for week one. So what you're going to do, for example, is say, how many weeks are you going to do your inventory? Are you going to do it once a week, twice a week, or every other week, cada otra semana, right? One week, yes, one week, no. That you're going to decide when you do your own. Ahí lo van a poder hacer cuando... Hagan su propia, right? So maybe you can take notes. Pueden tomar notas mientras yo le estoy explicando. All right? So when you do your part, you can decide, is it going to be daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, right? Some people say, no, cada tres meses, right? Every three months. However you decide in your group, All right? But here... For example, is saying select 200 items. So, aquí le está diciendo, selección de 200 items of your inventory for week one. So, prácticamente, the, your plan is going to be like, okay, step one, just like uh, Telma said, right? Step one, okay. select, right? Que dice select, blah, blah, blah. Y está escrito, no lo necesito poner otra vez, right? For week, para la semana uno, for week one, right? Now, what do you think number two would be? What step number two? Step two. Uh, we know this one is select one. So after you select, después de que seleccionar las 200 products or 200 items, what do you think comes next? The buy items into cons of items items 
Very good. All right. So you can divide. Ya después la vamos a dividir. Cuando seleccionamos las 200, when we select the 200, then we are going to divide them in counts of 50, right? So, for example, if si la bodega contiene 2,000 artículos o 4,000, no vamos a poder contar todo eso en, right? in one day, try to do the whole inventory in a few hours, right? So what it's telling you here is you're going to select 200 and then do a process and then select another, maybe 200 for the next week, right? And so forth, right? Now, number two, step number two will be just like um, Alvin said, we're going to divide, divide items into counts of 50 a day from Tuesday to Friday, all right? From Tuesday to Friday. So we're going to, we're going to count 50 a day. 50 vamos a contar. And we're talking about products, right? Now, Alvin, do you think está hablando de 50 artículos or it could be 50 items for example, H HP, Dell, right? Is it 50, right? 50 or different items, right? It could be, for example, in a warehouse. If you go to a warehouse, si usted va a una bodega, de supermercado or anything, no nomás tienen un producto, right? Super selectos. How many products do they have? ¿Cuánto, calculate how many products are in super selectos. Deme un número. Just give me a random number that you think. Thousands. Hmm? It could be thousands of products. Okay, thousands of products, right? Can you give me uh, like a, a round number? Was that un numero? Can you give me a number? An estimate. Like a 10,000? Okay, let's, let's go with 10,000, right? Let's say 10,000. Roughly, right? About 10,000 items. ¿Se puede contar esto en un día? No. You can't, right? Right? You can't say, aquí a las ocho horas de tu turno, tienes que contar todo. La, la... You can't, right? That's can't. impossible. Exactly. That's impossible. That's why you have to have a counting program. Por eso mm -hmm. se establece un programa de conteo. Mm -hmm. Right? That's why you have to have a counting program. And... This is what we're doing. So here's just an example, okay, class? It's just doing it with 200, right? In week one, 50 a day, Tuesday to Friday, right? Tuesday to Friday, right? Because it's yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So it's just four days. So in four days, in cuatro días, in four days, ¿Cuánto sería en aquí el total? How, how much would the total be? If it's 50. 200. Exactly, right? Y ahí está lo que es las 200. Ese es el programa de conteo bien establecido. It's very, very definite, right? It's very disciplined. So, if you do this for number two, you're basically doing the 200. The 200 that are for week one, right? Que está relacionado con las 200 que hicimos en el número uno. Number one is select 200 items. Once you have selected the 200 items, you can say, okay, um, I'm going to select 200 items. Okay, um, eggs, cheese, um, cereal. Pero no, como hay diferentes cereales, not just one, right? You can say Kellogg's or, or, or other brands, right? Um, the oil, Wesson oil or Masola oil, chips, Doritos, right? So I'm selecting, I have to select 200 items and then count 50 on Tuesday, 50 on Wednesday, 50 on Thursday, and 50 on Friday. So it will give me a total of 200. 
So when the manager comes and sees, all right, eh, ya seleccionaste las 200 items? Yes. And on Saturday, we'll say, okay, did you count all of these 50 per day? Yes. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Okay, you're done, right? Very good. Now, after you count the 50 items, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, what do you think happens next? I think you have to keep track of daily. Mm. Mm. Or select another 200. You can't remember, lo estamos haciendo diariamente, Alvin. So it's only Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I think that the number Step number three is sell it another 200 par. Mm, okay. And start over y empezar de nuevo. I Very good. Yes. All right. So you once you select the items, ya cuando las has seleccionada, seleccionado, disculpe, when you have selected them, then once you have selected them, then you begin to an, give an accurate count. Ya cuando seleccionó las 200, ya usted empieza a contar, right? You start counting accurately, accurately. And record, usted va a notar 50 Kellogg's, 50 eggs, 50 cheese, 50, right? You start writing it down. You start writing it down. So number number three will be um, accurately count. Once you have selected, then you begin your counting process. All right. What happened here? All right, then you accurately count and record all items. All right, once you have counted everything and recorded it, ya lo tiene anotado, ya you have recorded it. And what do you think will happen next? What do you think the protocol will be? Now it's your turn, Alvin, what you mentioned earlier. Once you have counted everything. You have to keep track. Yeah, all right. Then you keep track of the daily accuracy, right? Because ahora ya tiene un número de respaldo. All right. So now you know that after you counted the product, the next count tiene que ir relacionado con este, right? With this count. So, for example, on week one, when I count, eh, quedan 20, digamos, let's say 20 Kellogg's cereal, right? When I do my next count, tengo que iniciar con eso 20, right? Porque eran lo que quedaban. Or however, however many are left, and you continue your count, because everything is counted. Everything is counted. And then you keep track of your daily accuracy, variance, in percentages, right? Aquí donde uno puede ver también which product is selling is selling the most, right? Fíjate que conté hace dos semanas que tenía 100 cereales y todavía están ahí, no se han vendido, right? So you're keeping track of your percentages also, right? And then you might see another product that within two or three days, there's nothing on the shelf, right? Have you ever gone to the supermarket y ve el producto y no hay nada ahí? There's nothing there. It's, it's all sold, right? So when you do inventory, it's important to keep track of your percentages, la, la variante, the variance percentages. All right, let me put that here. And I hope you're paying attention to this because después lo va a tener que hacer ustedes, uno similar a este, in your own words. Propio. 
Okay, number, once you keep track of your daily accuracy and variance percentages, then what do you think happens? This is the last one. Mm. Checking. Okay. Checking. Okay, good try, good try, but it's it's really another one. But yeah. Localize calf of of error and correct inventory record. Okay. All right. Let me see. Okay, localize, right? Nice. Then, you, then you will keep um localize. All right. Thank you, Doris, for participating. All right. Let me see something real quick. Where's my Do, 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 do. All right. Now, what do you think with, okay, when we get to this, you localize cost of errors and correct inventory record. This is where you, where, if there are any errors, si hay algunos errores, es en este punto que se arregla. This is the point where you have to fix them. All right, you have to fix them or correct any types of errors that you might find once you uh, check for percentages and after you keep track of the daily accuracy, then you go see if there are any errors, right? Una revisadita, right? You keep, uh, you keep track of it and then you localize any errors. If there are any errors, then you notify it there on your, uh, on your counting program. Okay, now, what do you think would be number six? Select another 200 parts. All right, select another 200 parts. Yes, right, that is correct. All right, now, once you finish, keep, you're, you're probably saying, okay, there aren't any errors, so you continue. If there are errors, then you fix them. Once you have fixed the errors, or if there are, no errors, then you select another 200 parts, just like Yanari said. And for week two, ya vamos a la semana dos, week two, you go get another 200 items, and then you continue. Now, Freddy's number seven. So that was the last one. Yeah, right? <laughs> You're checking into accuracy. All right, yeah. You, then you keep checking until accuracy exceeds, right? The for so in inventories, especially in supermarkets, I do not believe, yo no creo que en ningún inventario va a llegar al 100%, especially like when you have 200,000 items or, uh, or 10,000 items, right? Oh, we have problem. Yeah, right. It's like, oh, we lost a, <laughs> se perdió un tomate de 80 mil que teníamos, right? So, <laughs> so, right? So there's like, it's all, there's always a variance. There's always a variance in everything that you do, especially in percentages, cuando hablamos de porcentaje, incluso en encuestas. Ustedes han visto encuestas que se han hecho internacionalmente o aquí o en otros países. They always Siempre les va a dar un error de, de plus 3% or minus 3%. Siempre está ese, ese pequeño, there's always that variance, right? There's always that variance. Nothing will ever be like perfect. Unless it's like, for example, cars, right? Si, son, si tienes 100 carros y faltan 4, right? 3, it's a big difference, right? But I'm talking about like small things, right? Small things or, or, or um, items that you know could probably be damaged, right? Damaged products. Or someone goes in the store and it's a producto, right? 
and you lose it. You lose it, right? How many people do you see going in, in stores and they just look and you know, whoop, whoop, right? Straight to the to the pocket, right? So people do that. So there's always that that little small percentage that will never be a hundred percent. So this is something basic, right? This is what you call accounting program. Esto se le llama un programa de conteo. It's just basic, all right? Hay algunos que son mucho más largos que eso. Teacher. Yes, Janari, ask me. Uh, how can I say merma? Excuse me? Is merma. What, what is that? It is it's about when you produce something and you have uh, a, some part that, alguna parte que no sirve. Okay. Um, I, I don't know how I'm going to say, say it, but. Uh, Los desperdicios. Uh -huh, okay. uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Desperdicios, like, are you you're talking about leftovers? Is that what you're talking about? And yeah. Something like that? Leftovers? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Something like this, leftovers, right? Yes. Okay. Leftovers can also be included in this, right? For example, items that you know are already going bad, right? For example, if I have seen before where strawberries, strawberries, right? I have seen some packages of strawberries when uh -huh. you go and they have uh -huh. already uh, like mold, right? Como el mm -hmm. blanco, el hongo ya creciendo adentro, right? So yeah. it, those are pretty much, they're going to be trashed, right? They're going uh -huh. to be trashed, uh -huh. right? <laughs> yeah. And they're pretty much like leftovers or, or waste, right? Or you can also use the word waste, right? And desperdicio, but leftovers is another word also. But desperdicio, <laughs> right? The waste the bad the bad products in some right. case happen that mm -hmm. yes it does right or or sometimes when an item um let me see something when in when an item um an item is opened i didn't decide to open the milk or something right and it's open mm -hmm. it's open or altered then you can go and tell them hey it's open oh they get it and they throw it away so mm -hmm. that happens also right or a product falls second producto al piso boom right and it breaks or something right that those uh those fall under this um uh, 90 this three percent yes thank you yanari for, for your input. Thank you, teacher. All right, great. Now, this is basically, like I said earlier, a basic counting program. Now, you will create one. Ustedes van a tener que crear uno. You're going to have to create one. Let me look at the... Yeah. Yeah. And it's going to be done. It's going to be done in groups. Now, you do not have to do a presentation. All right? El plan dice que tienen que hacer una presentación. Right? El manual de Insafor. Right? That's what he's telling me here. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, I'm going to have you do it. Si lo van a hacer, right? You still have to do it, porque me tengo que basar con el lineamiento de Isafor. Um, but you're going to do it here in class, all right? You're going to do it here in class, and you're going to do it in groups. You don't have to give me a presentation like we've done before, right? Because it's going to take some time. And I'm going to take it upon myself to do it in a different way. 
which you're going to do it, but you're going to just do it verbally, all right? Verbally. You can just write, write some words, quizás tomar unas notas in a paper and decide, just like here. No es la gran cosa, all right? You can do six, seven, or eight. Six, seven, or eight steps. Ven aquí, una pequeña oración. Boom, 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 boom. I do not need for you to start quebrándose la cabeza and try to figure out how to write a program, un programa de seis páginas. No, no. All right? Do not complicate yourself. Se las estoy poniendo lo más fácil posible. All right? Now, if you want to do a presentation, uh, you can tell me, all right? And you can present it on Monday. Puede presentar el lunes if you want to. It's not an obligation. But the best option right now is to do it right now in class with your group and then just present some ideas when I call on you. Uno o dos del grupo que quiera participar will be necessary, right? Will be all you need to do. Now, you can use... You can use this as a guide. Pueden usar esto como un guía para alinearse un poco, right? To align yourself on how you would do this, right? Um, the thing is, create your own. Remember, this is um, Inglés para el Trabajo, and this, all these activities are for this particular part of inventory. So give it your best. Haga lo mejor que pueda. Try to do your best because you never know in the future you might have to come across inventory and at least now you know how to create accounting program. All right? How to create a steps for accounting program. All right. Now, are there any questions? Because we are going to pause for a second so we can do a little more in relation to accounting program on page 39. And I'm going to repeat this again after we finish num number seven on page 39. So if you still have any questions or any doubts, you please feel free to ask. Let me see. All right. Let's go to that page. This is page 39. Can I get a volunteer to read, please, the pair work? Okay, go ahead. That's how I was saying. Glenda? I'm sorry, teacher. No, no problem. I want to try, teacher. Go ahead. If you don't mind. Oh, I don't mind. Okay. Please. Rank, rank the benefits of implementing a cycle count program. One, the most important side, the least important. Then discuss your ranking and the benefits with the class. All right. So here we're talking about ranking, right? You're going to put numbers being one, the most important, and five, the least important, right? La menos importante will be number five and number one. La más importante. So you're going to do number one, number two, and then so forth, right? Depending on which one do you think is more important. Now, we're still talking about account program. So please continue. Uh, continue reading, please. I cycle count program of or inventory accuracy count is a technique where inventories count on a circle schedule rather than once a year. The following are some of its advantages. 
Advantages. Advantages. Very good. And this word is pronounced cyclic. 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 Very good. Okay, teacher. Excellent. Thank you, Jennifer. Now, this is giving you a little bit of the definition about what is a cycle count program, or, or normally it's also called an inventory accuracy count. It's basically a technique. Es una técnica. Kind of like a, a method, all right? Where inventory is counted, not once a year, but cyclic, all right? Or cyclic, podemos decir. Estamos hablando de ciclos, all right? A schedule, un horario cíclico. That's what this means, a cyclic schedule. Where it implements that you, as the manager, you as the owner or whatever position you hold that you must account for all the inventory you are responsible to establish and maintain and follow this program this count program whenever you're talking about inventory so now here it says the following are some of its advantages. Aquí vamos a hablar de las ventajas, the advantages of this program, this counting program. So let's read the first sentence, please, um, Doris. Okay. Uh, reinforce the import. Importance. Importance of a query in your organizational Culture. Okay. Accuracy. Accuracy. Very good. In your organizational culture, right? Culture. Very okay. good. So, aquí estamos hablando de incorporarlo en, en la cultura suya. Here we're talking about Salvadorian culture, all right? The importance of reinforce this program. Um, Number two. Thank you, Doris. Uh, sentence number two. Who would like to read uh, sentence number two? Okay, go ahead, Carla. Okay. Uh, generate focus and continuous improvement at the organizational level. Very good. So now we're, here's another advantage. It generates focus for continuous improvement, right? Para mejorar. That's what this is about, right? For continuous improvement in the level of organizations. Very good. Continue, Carla. Okay. Improve your supply chain operation through more accurate inventory data. All right, very good. Now here, it improves, it betters your company. You have better control. Why? Because you have inventory data. You have it in paper, you have it in physical form or in a computer or in a spreadsheet, right? You have it there already documented. So no one can come back three days later and say, no, ahí no más habían dos cuando habían veinte, right? or two products when there were 20. No, you already have it logged. You already have it notified. Okay, continue. Help identify and correct receiving, shopping, ordering, packaging, no. Packaging? Uh -huh. pa packaging, yes. <laughs> Labeling. Packaging. Labeling. Okay. Labeling, returns, and fulfillment errors. Okay. So. Errors, errors. <laughs> Error. All right. So here, thank you, Carla. Here is talking about one advantage that it has and it helps. It helps you localize. It helps you see and observe some of the, uh, if there are any errors that are being done when you're doing the inventory, where they could be ordering, packaging, or labeling. You can see those because when you do inventory, you're also looking at the product, right? 
cuando uno está haciendo un inventario del producto, está viendo el producto. And if the label is incorrect, or the price is incorrect, you can correct it. You can correct it. And that's what happens sometimes when you go to the supermarket and the price says $2, but when you go pay for it, it's $3. Y ahí vienen los errores, right? And you're like, hey, estaba dos dólares, pero ¿por qué me está cobrando tres, right? It's a two dollars. Why are you charging me three dollars? So they're like, no, así enseña aquí. And then you go and check, and they're like, oh, yeah, there's an error here, right? Blah, blah. And that's where we come into uh, the part where you identify the errors, the errors. How many of you have bought something and you know it was incorrect, the pricing? Anyone? Has anyone bought something? Anyone has bought something that was price incorrect and they charge you more? Yeah? Or no? But cada vez que va siempre the right price. Ah, huh, Jackie? Ready? Oh, super. That happened to me in Super Selectos and uh, Maxi Dispenser. All right. Okay. What about you, Iris? Yes, and me too in Super Selectos. Um, I choose a desodorante. The odorant. The odorant. The odorant? I, I chose, remember the verb? I chose a deodorant. I chose, I chose a deodorant that the, the advice set a price. And when I go, I, I, I went, went to I went to cashier. It's other price. <laughs> yeah, right. What's other price? Exactly. All right. Very good. It is all right. Thank you. Now this happens when you have inefficient inventory controls. That's why it happens. There's no other explanation. Ah, it could be human error, right? Somos humanos podemos cometer errores. But if it happens once, it happens twice, it happens three times, four times. Come on, right? Come on. So that's why now, now I ask them to check the price if it's correct or not before paying it. Yeah, right. The, the, those are those are some of the good things that that's one good thing that I like about Walmart. They have those machines where you can get the product and scan and scan it, right? You can scan it. You like. And it shows you the price, right? So yeah. if it's incorrect, you catch it right there, right? You catch it right there. Because the majority of people, uh, when you go to pay, you just pay and put the receipt in your pocket. Eh, con confianza, right? Everything is good, right? And then you don't realize you might you might have been yeah, the problem. <laughs> exactly overcharged three or four or five dollars, right? So it happens it's happened to me before so this is what we're talking about identifying and fixing the errors right whether it's labeling here labeling right the labeling the pricing the pricing and also returns and you see mostly here can you return an item on every store that you go to usted puede regresar un artículo en cualquier lugar que compra can you say, ah, I don't want it no more. Quiero que me regresen el dinero. Can you do that at every store? ¿Puede hacer eso en todas las tiendas? No. No. When right. the product is on offer, um, sometimes the, the ticket says that no accept, no no, accept the returns. <laughs> returns, right? No returns. returns. Once you walk out the store, that's it, right? Bye-bye. Right, that's true. Yes. So here we're talking about also returns. And here, some stores do not allow it, right? Some stores say, check the item before you walk out the door, because once you walk out the door, it's yours. You bought it, right? So sometimes they have a sign that says, revise el producto antes de salir de la tienda, no hay devolución, whatever, right? So there are some that will change it. There are some, right? And when a product goes back into the store, huh? Todo cambia, right? Because that product ya había salido del inventario. And now it's coming back. It's coming back. And this is a big thing 
when you go to stores in the United States where people buy a product and they use it for Christmas and then they take it back a few days later, right? And they say, oh, it didn't fit. No me quedo. It did, right? And they give you the money back. But you will be surprised. Se van a sombrar algún día se vayan a ver un supermercado like a Walmart or a big store, yeah. um, Kmart, Fiesta, uh, all these different Target, different stores that they have like 10 people a veces 10 trabajadores nomás en la área de, de regreso, de, de devoluciones, right? They have a big side of department where they accept all returns. So you go and say, ah, no me it didn't fit, uh, like, dos semanas después, right? Two weeks later, you go, it didn't fit, and they give you your money back. But the thing is, that product goes back to inventory. So this is where it's talking about returns, returns. Eso se refiere aquí, returns. Remember, when you have an inventory, you have to take into account. Tienen que poner en cuenta que van a regresar algunos productos de nuevo. So you have to put it as coming in instead of going out. Now, uh, the last part, the last part here, the last advantage. Continue, please. Okay. Uh, Raises productivity and efficiency. Efficiency. Through more accurate, efficient, through more accurate data, leading to reduce operational and inventory carrot costs. Okay. So the other advantage here, thank you, Carla, that erases productivity when you have an accurate, and sufficient, and efficient counting system implemented in your inventory or in the warehouse or wherever you're at in your office your productivity becomes more efficient more efficient because you have accurate data ya los números son más they're more proportional leading to reduce operational and inventory costs so you're not losing that much money to try to fix problems when there are missing items, because you can easily see what day the product was was uh, missing, because you're doing controls. You're doing controls. Now, what do you think, class, will be the most important? ¿Cuál creen ustedes que sería más importante? Which one do you think will be most important? Out of all these, analyze it. I would like for you to analyze it, read it, think about it. I'll give you like one or two minutes to analyze this. I just want you to analyze it in your own silent mode. Just think about it. Do not tell me right now. Just think about it. How will you do it? Maybe you can take a note or something. Because you're going to do this in a few minutes. So I want you to be already knowledgeable of the topic. Now, is there a re hay una forma correcta de hacerlo? No. There is no correct way of doing it because this is based on you. This is based on your perception your idea and your own analysis. So if you tell me generate focus and another person tells me, no, it helps to identify, there's no wrong or right answer. This is based on you.
So I'm going to let you analyze it, let you comprehend it, and then you decide which one is more important, which one is the second most important, which one is the third most important, and then you're going to, for example, I can say, all right, um, I can say for me, Hmm. Probably for some companies they might say, yeah, para nosotros esta sería la mejor, right? For some might say, okay, this is important because we're talking about money here, right? The efficiency, right? Productivity, right? If we don't have productivity, we don't have money. Uh, some people might focus more on money, right? Or you might say, no, I'm not really focused on money. I'm, I'm more focused on correcting and fixing everything. So you might say, para mí la número uno es esta, right? It depends on you, right? You can say this one would be number one. Some people might say this one might be there. And when I mean number one, it's the most important. Como está aquí arriba. Like you see it up here. Most important for you. See it? Right? La primera más importante, la segunda más importante, la tercera, and then all the way to five. Five siendo la menos importante for you. Right? So you put it. There are only five. Let me, I'll be, let me get some water real quick. I'll be right back. All right, class. What can you tell me? Can someone share with me what do you think the most important part here is? The most important advantage. What do you think it is? Someone give me what do they consider in their own ideas, in their own thinking? <coughs> Sure. Yes. In my opinion, uh, for example, the most important is yeah, the number one is improve the supply chain. Operation uh, throw more accurate inventory data. Data. I, I data. I think this because if you have a good uh, supply chain, 
supply. You can supply in chain. You can have a, a um, 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 minister continuo. Constant, a, a uh, continuous control. A continuous control. All right. My so opinion. It, uh, they, My opinion. They, they, uh, perfect. Very good. If, if this is what you believe, remember, all the answers vary, right? They vary. So, varian. So, yes. that depends on the person. Very good, uh, Francisco. Thank you for your input, your participation. All right. Anyone else would like to share why they chose the number one as the most important? Anyone else? Anyone else? Me, teacher. All right, Alvin, thank you. For me, uh, the most important is to help to identify and correct receiving, shelving, ordering, packaging, labeling, returns, and fulfillment errors. All right. Because I think it's like a cycle comp program. Um, everything with warehouse, inventory, it's it's talking about shelving, receiving, ordering, packaging. So that's what I, I think is the most important. Okay, so you have all in mm -hmm. one, right? All in one. Yeah. Okay, very good. Thank you for okay. your analysis, Alvin. Yes, perfect, right? Perfect. Um, anyone else that would like to share their idea? Anyone else? Well, I guess I'm going to call on someone. I'll give you number two because number one is the same as Calvin. Okay, you can give me number two, right? You can give me two or three, whichever one, right? Just I mean, number two is race, product. Productive, uh, productivity and efficiency through more accurate data leading to reduce operational and inventory carry, carry costs. Okay, efficiency. Efficiency. Okay, very good. Why, why will you choose that one as number two for that? Because we're talking about cost. We want to reduce cost. Okay. All right, very good. So we're talking about cost. We're talking about money, right? Yeah. We're talking about money. Exactly, right? So once you get, you mentioned the other one being number one, once you get that corrected, then you can say, okay, now let's focus on how, what we need to do, fix better for cost, right? For costs. All right, great. Excellent, excellent. Now, Jackie. Hello, Jackie. What was your number one, Jackie? Number one is the same as uh, Alvin, and the second one as Freddy, too. <laughs> and for number three, <laughs> okay. for number three is reinforces uh, the importance of accuracy in, in your organizational culture. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, this is number four, sorry. Number three. I think is it uh, generates focus on continuous improvement at the organizational level. All right, great, great. Okay, great. Reinforce. And then number four will be this one, right? Reinforces. Yes. All right, great. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, Jackie. All right, so I'm, I'm asking you to do this because I want you to practice. I want you to practice. That's why I'm asking for volunteers, for volunteers. That way, when you do the activity, you will not be lost, all right? And the only way I will know if you do not understand is if you ask. No voy a poder saber si no entiende, si no me preguntan. So si alguien no entiende, please ask me, all right? Ask me. And that's why I'm asking you to do this activity so you can, um, be knowledgeable about this topic, about this topic. Remember, these are not the ordinary or average topics that you see every day. These are all related to a special program, right? And what type of program we're talking about here? We're talking about accounting program relating to inventory. So I'm going to 
do the second attendance and then I'm going to ask again if, if there are any questions because you will begin this activity down here. All right. Remember, you're going to work in groups and it even says to use the steps as to guide you. Para guiarlo. No es que van a copiar eso. You use it as a guide. In number six, ¿cuál es el número seis? The one that we did earlier, la que, la que hicimos temprano, esta. Right? This is the one that we, we did a, a few minutes ago. And now we did a little bit of work here. Your own ideas. I didn't, I didn't say, oh, this was number one or this was number one, right? You gave your own analysis. And that's important. But here, you're going to now apply your knowledge. But before we do that, I'm going to take the second attendance. Abigail. Abigail. Okay. Blanca. Blanca. Right. Brenda. Brenda. Carlos. Okay, no answer. Doris? Present. Okay, thank you. Edwin? Present. Okay, thank you. Francisco? Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Let me see. Freddy's? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. And Glenda? Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Iris? Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. And Jackie. Present. Okay, thank you. Jarvin. Jarvin. Okay, no answer. Jennifer. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Juan Jose. Okay, not here. Carla. Present. Okay, thank you. Neftali. Neftali. All right, no, and not here. Rolando. Hello, hello. All right, thank you. Delma. Delma. She was here, she must have connection problems. Janari. I'm here. All right. Thank you. And Alvin. Present teacher. All right, thank you. All right. All right. So let's continue. Do, 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 do. All right, um, Alvin, can you read, please, the instructions? Hey, teacher. Your turn. In groups, organize a presentation about a proposal to implement a cycle count program. Use the step in exercise six to guide you. Then support your proposal with the benefits that a cycle count program brings to your businesses all right okay so once you do your proposal on the su propósito your your propose something like this right which is a program that you're going to say okay step one ta 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 step two just like we did earlier como hicimos anteriormente and then once you have created how many steps what does step one I said? Do you remember what I said earlier? Alguien anotó las steps cuando las mencioné? Yes? No? Don't remember. Five steps. All right. Thank you, Alvin. Yeah. Five. 
to seven, right? If you want to put more, you can. There's no problem. But I want you to stay within within this range, okay? In este rango, all right? So you won't have to go too much. Because I think with five or seven, you have enough to establish some type of count program for your for your inventory. Now, this is for these are the five to seven steps. These are the steps. Now, for the son dos en una, there are it's two in one, right? Just like Alvin read. Then you're going to give some benefits. Benefit, los beneficios, right? Benefits. Give at least here, I want you to give about three, three to five. Three to five. ¿Qué tipo de beneficio? Lo que acabamos de ver ahorita. What you just saw right now. Some of you say, okay, this is my most important one. And then you could you could just name three. Okay? You can name three. Now, what I would like for you to do is, so three to five, right? You can select. Usted puede seleccionar una de las que ya están allí. Select one from, from the book, right? So one is free, one is gratis, right? You can select one from the book. It is optional, it's optional if you want to. If you don't want to, if you want to do your own, you say, no, you're gonna say mi propia, you can also. But if you want to get one from the book and copy it on your plan, then you can do it, you can do it. And this will be the the benefits, right? Three to five benefits. Or, or lo podemos hacer benefits, or in another word, advantages. La ventaja de tener eso. Three to, three to five benefits or advantages, and you can select one from the book. Any questions? Yeah. Okay. You need to include the 200 items. Not on the steps. Okay. On the steps, these are your own. Aquí son propias, your own. Now, you can look at the chart. You can say, en vez de 200, just change it. You can say 100. All right, have the idea, tenga la idea of the last activity, but create your own, right? But if you want to do a little bit of similarities, at least change some of the context, all right? For example, if it says 200 over there, you can do 100 here on yours or 300, or you can do every two weeks instead of every week. Como lo hicieron en la otra, right? You can change it a little bit, right? Remember, the other one's a guide, so you won't get too much, like, lost, but at least guide you to where, hey, this is what we need to do. But thank you for asking, Freddy. All right, in your own, your own words. Any other questions? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Any other questions? Clear. Everything is clear. All right. Let me see. Okay. Okay. You're still working, Jarvin. Okay. No problem. I'm still working also. All right. So you can be excluded. Teacher. Mm -hmm. I can I can't do that because this activity because I'm a little busy. Okay, no problem. I will leave you I will exclude you. Right? Thank you, teacher. I'm All sorry. Right. No problem. No problem. 
Let me see. Okay, anyone else? Remember, these classes are for you, right? So it depends on your your time. I know Teacher, some of you are busy. And if you can. I, I would like to be alone. Ah, you would like to do it alone. Ah, wow. Okay. Yes. No problem. Great. Thank you. All right. So we have one, two that cannot do it, and one that prefers to do it alone. Very good. All right. Anyone else? Harla, because I'm not at home. Okay. No problem. Anyone else? Anyone else? All right. No problem. Let me see. Okay. The rest of you, I'm going to put you in in groups. Glenda, did you say something? Glenda? Or was that Carla? No, I Glenda. Okay, uh, I can. I, I think your connection is bad. Right, let me turn off your. Let me mute. All right. All right. So now I'm going to put you in groups so you can do the activity. Remember that this activity is two in one. Two in one. So dos en una. Two in one what we saw earlier and what we did here in class. And I'm going to put you in groups. Let me see, so you can do this activity. All right. I'm going to sure. assign it manually. Yes? I would like to do this activity with Freddy. It's possible. Sure. Okay. No problem. All right. <laughs> Freddy is like, hey, you didn't ask me, right? <laughs> I will put you there, all right? No problem. Let me see. Okay. Room number one, Francisco and Freddy's. Where are you? All right. And you're, I'm going to put you in three, all right? I'm going to put you in groups of three, so I'm going to put Thelma with you, right? And group number two, um, Abigail, Alvin, and let me see. Glenda, can you do this activity? Glenda? Hi teacher. Hi. I can't. I can't. You can't? Yes, I can't. All right. Okay, I will leave you out. No problem. Thank you. Okay, you're going to be Abigail, Alvin, and Iris. All right, let me see. Carlos. Okay, you're not going to do it. I have you here. You're still at work. Okay. Doris. Hello, Edwin. Can you do this activity? Yes, teacher, I can do it. All right, so Doris, Edwin, and Glenda Second of Podia. All right, let me see. And I'm going to put you with, let me see who gave me a text. All right. Doris and Jennifer. And Jennifer. So Doris, Edwin, and Jennifer, you're in room number Teacher, three. May I go with Rolando? Uh, Rolando. Yes, teacher, I, I Rolando. agree. I agree. I, I agree, teacher. I would like to work okay. with Jennifer. All right, because you told me by yourself. That's why. Okay, but I will put you with Jennifer. All right. Okay, thank you. Thank you, teacher. All right, no problem. Okay, Jarvin, Jackie, and that's it. You two will do it together. All right. And I'm room number five. 
five will be Rolando and Jennifer. All right, great. Okay, class, you ready? One, two. Remember, you do not have to send it to me, all right? All I want you to do is elaborate it with your, with your classmate. And then when we come back to the main session, I will call on you to give you, for you to give me some, some of your answers or some of your uh, opinions that you have, all right? Do you have the instructions already, right? Five to seven steps and then three to five benefits. I'm going to put this in the group, in the WhatsApp group so you can have it also. Let's see. All right, there it is. I sent it so you can have it. Five to seven steps and then three to five benefits or advantages. Okay, one, two, three. Hello, Jackie. Hello, teacher. Okay. I'm uh, <laughs> yes. Um, Jarvin was going to be here, but uh, he said he couldn't. Um, he couldn't do the activity, so I'm going to put you with another group. All right. Is okay. There, is there anyone do you would like to work with that has? Um, Rolando and Jennifer. If there is a problem. I can put you there, right? But como ellos dos quisieron estar juntos, I don't know. All right, you can ask them. Mm, um, or no. Rolando wanted to I be I was trying him. to do a laundry chart. You want to be chart. alone? Uh -huh. Yeah, yes, I will try. <laughs> All right, or I can put you with uh, Doris and Edwin. Okay, that's good. All that's right. good, teacher. All right, I will put you with them because it's two. It's two there, and the other groups already have three. All right, so okay, I will put you, you there. Thank All right, so no problem. Thank you.
accounting program. Step one, y ahí vamos a ir también. Okay. Two, three, three, four, and five. There you go. Yeah. Quick. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> All right. If you if you want, I could split, right? You could say, okay, I do the you can say I can do the the steps and then the other person can do the the advantages. Right? Pues escribiendo the advantages. Or you can do it together also. You have 20, 20 minutes. Yeah. All right. All right. They are advantages or benefits? You can do benefits or advantage. They're both okay. a positive, right? You can do benefits or advantage. Whichever one you want to use, whichever word. There you go. Boom, 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 right? Right. right. <laughs> Simple, right? Buy and tree. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hello, Jennifer, Roland. Hello, teacher. I'm waiting for Orlando. He is doing something, but I think that he is going to be right back in a couple of minutes. Okay, I'll come back. If not, I'll put you in another group, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Content for for divided TVs and counting in twenties twenties a day from Monday to Saturday. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. And, and Nine, Monday to Saturday, yes, because and twenties because we would say they are one hundred, right? One hundred yes. TVs. So twenties from Monday to Saturday. Yes, they're 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 one hundred. Mm. Hey, Monday to Friday. It's Monday <laughs> to Friday. Ah, no. uh, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. you see, oh. that's inventory. Friday. Just a little Yeah, yeah, boom. <laughs> uh, you're like, yeah, eh, voy a contar ahorita, jefe, right? Yeah, pero ya. Que no eran cien. Mire, aquí le faltan veinte televisiones. <laughs> Yeah, all right. what happened, right? All right, yeah, you see? I right, continue, you're doing great. Yeah. Yes. Next, we check every product for group very well or in group very well. 
Step number four, we use Excel for to make the record. So I have, well, for number three, I have used inventory software. Yes, I, I think inventory for software. number in the number three. Number three? Inventory software. Okay, and then. We make inventory. Software. Okay, step number four. Um, Can it be step number four? Um, stop operations when performing a completed physical inventory. And I have to establish. We establish the different the percent percentage. Yeah. Mm. Or oh, maybe I don't know my opinion. How to identify and correct reserving. Or number four. Yes, number oh, uh, the step number four. Uh -huh. Right. Are you right. identifying correctly? Who be is? But we don't have to have all the same as the book. We have to make our own too. We don't have to follow the same pattern. So we have to have our own opinions. Mm. Yes, it's true, Freddy. We already got one uh, similar. Mm -hmm. the divide Maybe. the items into count 50 a day. We already uh -huh. got one. Um, Maybe. And then we have one. check daily for maintaining the keep. Well, that's, that's number two. We divide items into counting 50 a day, so that we check every day. Okay. Yes, if you have a system, you need to enter the uh, descargos. I don't know how do you say descargos. Descargos, descargos, descargos. What do you mean descargo? Uh, cuando ingresas un producto al sistema pero tienes que, que descargarlo porque lo, lo vas a entregar para uso ok into the into the excel we have uh, tools into the in the into the tools we have we make the formula yeah. Yes. For to what mean in this cargo on the <laughs> this car and okay. How's everything going? Okay. I think we're kind of a little bit confused. Okay, let me know. Okay. We have to be not not the same as the book, but we have to make our own, right? Exactly, right? You can now you can use the one in the book as a guide, as a guide, as a guide to help you, right? To well, guide as you. A, as items, we use uh, we choose on um, two hundred fifty as items. Okay, you can use two hundred fifty. Yeah, it's up to you. We divide but, them into fifty a day from Monday to Friday. All right. As a that's 200. For 50. Uh, 50 a day um, from Monday to Friday. Yeah, but, but you said 250. Yeah. So no puede ser 
Monday through Friday. Why? Porque Monday through Friday son 200. No, 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 no. The Monday from... Yeah, he's right. Yeah. So, so if, si van a hacer un protocolo que de lunes a viernes vamos a contar 250, no cabe en ese, en ese marco. Oh. Yeah. Why? Because if I, if I sí. yes, 50 yes, piezas yes. todos los días. We have... O 50 items. Four or, days. Four days. <laughs> Only. Yeah. No. Okay, you, uh, okay hold on. Did you say... Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. You're correct. You're correct. Yeah, that's correct. the item of day. Okay. Monday through Friday, month. and you're counting. You're counting fifty, right? Fifty yes. items. Okay. Yeah. Then you're correct. You're correct. And then um, for number three, we're gonna use an inventory software. Okay. In this case, with with we use Excel. Uh -huh. All right. We you can Excel. use Excel. You can use because Excel. Because right? Story is a, is a little. Um, we have a. Uh, we don't know how uh, too much item in, in in the inventory. We can to have the control in the using uh, yeah. Excel sheet. Yeah, okay. Okay. and that's can something that uh, that's something that I believe Thelma mentioned the other day, right? Using uh, sheets, and yeah. you can use whichever ones you want. You can use Excel sheets or other types of formats, right? Digital formats, awesome. Yeah, all right, cool. And can we choose as number four, um, use a counting technology? Yeah, you can do that also. You can do that also. Okay. And can I choose for number five, um, stop operations when performing a, when performing a completed physical inventory? You could do that, yeah. Oh, okay. You could do that because some some people do that. Some people say let's stop and let's let's say all right we did good. And they get like a little meeting, everything good, and they show the numbers to the to everyone and everything is good. Yeah, you can do that. It happens. I've seen it before where they actually stop all operations and listen ah for an exit, right? Where you're like ah, I think right finally. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, it's, it's true. It's, it's true. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. I've seen it before. Um, and then give about three benefits. ¿Cuáles son los beneficios de lo que ustedes acaban de, de decir? Give the three to five benefits about what you just said about acquiring those steps. What would be the benefits? What's the beneficio de? Let's say if I tell you, okay, Thelma, uh, Freddy, Francisco. I'm going to pay you, le voy a pagar para que me hagan a, un, a program. Eh, and then I ask you, okay, ¿cuáles son los beneficios de lo que usted tiene escrito aquí? What are the benefits? Okay. The benefits. Do you know how many, uh -huh. do you know the, how many items you have? Items. And item, 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 excuse me, yes. All right, yeah, items. that's one, ahí está una. We have, no. and two more. Uh, have the control of the inventory because maybe when when we need to to do a a change for the season we you have the quickly the information yeah there you go there you go you and have access to the actual information right yes yeah yes it's right and then francisco know uh, what is the the more demand we have yeah, exactly, right? Just like you said, the more what is more in demand, right? This product or this product, you have uh, the percentage. We're talking about the percentages there. Very good. Yeah, that would be two, three right there. There you go. You see, that wasn't hard. And all you have to do is just think a little bit, right? Just think a little bit. <laughs> all right, that's it, right? But it's all it's all technical, right? It's all technical analysis, right? Very good. So in about three minutes, we're going back to the main session. Okay? okay. So okay. you can get it all squared away, right? All right. Good job. Good job. Perfect.
Hello, Jennifer. Fernando. Hello, teacher. What happened? Did did you work? Did you finish? Yes. Not yet. Okay. Can you, can, you, can you tell me what you have? Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay. About the benefits of have um yeah, but the first ones were the steps. Los benefits vienen, vienen en acorde con esos, esos pasos. So the steps come first and then the benefits. Mm, okay, and so I will do the, the steps. Okay, the steps are first. When you have the steps done, that will be your, your, your inventory program. Once you finish those steps, then you can say, um, what the benefits are based on the steps. Um, okay, okay. Teacher, um, from one, we have to choose one from, from the book, from the benefits or advantages? Yes, that would be, the, the advantages, you can use one from the book, but mm -hmm. the steps, you have to create them your own. Mm. The steps were your own, right? Okay. okay. What I'm going Thank to you. do is I'm going to put you with someone else, okay? Has uh okay, has Rolando worked with you already? Or he hasn't come back? No, he hasn't come back. Okay, I'm going to put you with another group. Right? Can you please put me with Jackie? Mm. If you don't... They are already through there, but I, I will put you there, all right? Okay, teacher, thank you all so right. much. Okay, welcome back. I looked at the time and I was like, wow, time is already flying. Right? We only have like nine minutes or 10 minutes left. That's todo lo que nos queda. Right? That's it. So I'm looking at the time and I was like, wow, time went by quick. Now, we're going to use this last 10 minutes for you to give me a little bit about the in a verbal presentation, some of the things that you talked about, maybe give me one of the steps and maybe one benefit. All right, um, let me see. Um, room number one was Thelma, Freddy, and Francisco. Yes, teacher. All right, who is going to give me an opinion? Here? I can give you a random step. Okay, go ahead. Uh, one of our steps is um, using inventory software like Excel to have a, a organized inventory and to keep track of the product. Very good, very good, excellent, excellent. What about uh, Thelma and 
Francisco, did you want to share something? Yes. Uh, for example, what I mentioned one benefit. Okay. For for this, for example, uh, we have to to do the controls for the inventory. Maybe for the experience day for some product, maybe we can to offer to the customer uh, with the offer. All right, very good, very because, good. Because we have the control of yeah. the inventory. Yes, you have the control. So when you have control, you have pretty much the leadership, right? To do a lot, especially for the customer. Very good, very good. Delma, did you want to say something? Maybe one point? Yeah. No? Okay. No problem. All right, group number two. Um, Abigail, Alvin. Well, uh, Abigail didn't. didn't uh, Alvin and Iris. Can you give me an yes, example? Teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the first one, the first step we write is update your inventory records before counting. And one benefit is to help help to identify thefts, damage, obsolences, and incorrect content. Okay, incorrect content, right? All right. Yeah. Very good. Iris, did you want to say something? Yes. Uh, one step is print the records of the inventory and compare with the physical. Mm, uh, very good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Compare with the, yeah, all right. Kind of like give your your compare, right? Am I correct or am I wrong? Or is he or she incorrect, right? Very good. Yes. Very good, it is perfect. All right, um, uh, room number three was Doris and uh, Jackie and Edwin, right? Would you like to share something? And also Jennifer, I know you went there a little late, but I know you were doing it uh, by yourself. If you want to share maybe one of the benefits that you might have or something, anything that you would like to share. Any of you, Doris, Edwin, Jackie, or Jennifer, would you like to say something? No? Well, in the, uh, I, I, I talked about the, the step and the, the, the first step is a uh, choose the product uh, count. Okay, very good, very good. All right, thank you, Doris. All right. Okay, let me see. Uh, the second, the sec second step is divide uh, TVs into counts of twenty a day from Monday to Saturday. All right. Very good. Very good. All right. And Jennifer, did you want to say something? Yes. Uh, one of the step is review the records that we have in the system. All right. Okay. Very good. Very good. Those are all good ideas. Good knowledge of the topic. And this was all your work, right? This was all your work, applying your knowledge. Very good, very good, excellent, excellent. Now, remember uh, that you should already have gotten the the information for the for the survey, right, for Monday. And remember, not no pueden hacer la encuesta hasta el lunes, en, hasta la clase. All right. So remember that. Do not go and do it right now because it won't be approved. No será aceptada hasta que termine la última clase. All right? It's still, todavía falta una clase más. So you have to wait to that last day of class. And that is what the information they gave me from administration. All right? Ellos me han dicho que les comente que nadie está autorizado a hacer la encuesta hasta que la hagamos juntos in conjunto con la área administrativa, All right? So just remember that for Monday and terminen la plataforma de la tarea número cuatro. 
eso ya tiene que estar terminado eh, el momento que terminamos la clase con la encuesta. All right. So have it finished. And when I talked about this, I'm talking about homework four and el examen que está en la plataforma. Son dos actividades. The homework four and the final exam. Eso tiene que estar completo. Eso sería el segundo requisito. Y el tercer requisito es la encuesta. All right. Let me do the... The uh, last attendance. And very good, everyone. Very good on your um, on your speaking knowledge about inventory. Abigail. Present teacher. I'm sorry. I was working. Okay, no problem. All Thank right. Thank you. Blanca. Blanca. Okay. Not here. Okay. Brenda? Brenda? Okay, not here. Didn't connect zero. Carlos? Carlos? Okay. Doris? Present. Thank you. Edwin? Edwin? Present teacher, sorry. Thank you, no problem. Francisco. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Freddy's. Present teacher. All right, thank Present. you. All right. Glenda. Present. All right, thank you. Iris. Iris. Okay, no answer. Jackie. Present teacher, sorry. Okay, thank you. Jackie? Okay, I see you present. Thank, Thank you. Me. Yes, I, I saw your message. Thank you, Jackie. Um, Jarvin? Jarvin? Okay, not here. Jennifer? I'm here, teacher. All right, thank you. Let's see. Juan Jose? Juan Jose? Okay, not here. Zero. Carla? Present. Okay, thank you. Neftali? Neftali? Okay, not here. Zero. Rolando? Hello, hello. All right. Thank you. Telma? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Janari? Okay, not here. I'm here. I'm here, teacher. All right, thank you. Alvin? Present, Chair. Okay, thank you. All right, let me see. 24. All right, Carlos stays today. And let me see. Carlos stays today the extra 10 minutes, but I know he's working. I don't know if he's going to be able to stay, but the rest of you, if you have any problems with the platform, please notify me, okay? I'm going to be attentive this weekend. So if you have any doubts, any questions, please feel free to contact me so I can help you in whatever I can, right? Remember that the platform has to be finished by Monday, right? And we will do the survey on Monday also. All right, try to be here on time on Monday because I will, no se repone el día si usted falta, así que si la encuesta no la hace, eh, ahí, uh, you have to deal with administration there, ya sería fuera de mi alcance, porque yo no me conectaría el siguiente día. That would be the last day of class. All right, so please be here to do the survey so we can do it together along with administration. All right. And please do the homework. Please do the homework. And the final exam. Tarea y final exam. All right. Okay. For those of you that are finished, thank you. Don't worry about that. Uh, if you already finished the homework in the platform. All right. So everyone. All right. So you don't have nothing to worry for this weekend. And I see you on Monday, last day of class. Have a great weekend. Take care. Y les deseo lo mejor.
every day. And then we can do it here. Right. Good night, Good night. 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 Good Hello, teacher. Good evening. Can, Hi, you, can you hear me, teacher? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, teacher. Sorry, I was working too late. Okay, no problem. Are you able to stay the 10 minutes? Yes, teacher. Yeah, I would like that. I would like that. All I, right. I like All right. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's great. That's great. All right. Let me see. Um, let me see. All right, so do you have any questions that you would like to ask me, Carlos, or anything in particular, anything you would like to review, any doubts, or just personal questions of pertaining to the topics? Um, for example, teacher, um, I would like to tell you, for example, um, the only, only speak. Only okay, speak. yeah, we can speak also, uh, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, for example, I would like to tell you that, for example, um, um I have to do some exam for because I I want to to enroll to the university by to be continuing with the engineering. And so I would like to tell you that I will not be able to continue with the program okay. after okay. this, but because I'm going to, to continue with the engineering, studying, studying. Um, and este, I would like to uh, agree. Uh, to, I appreciate that you are teaching me a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I, yes, it was. I, a... I like that. <laughs> Remember that this is, and I, I want to uh, thank you for that, right? I want to thank you for that. And remember, in everything that you do, Carlos, everything that you do in life, you always want to do it the best way possible, right? You always want to do it the best way possible. Always try to do the best. Trata de lo mejor que puedes en todo lo que hagas. In everything that you do. And remember, not everything is easy is it gets difficult as we get older and older and older so accomplish your goals as soon as you can and if your goal is to go to the university hey i i cannot be more happier for you i am i am happy right Thank that you, you are progressing and try to study even more continue right go to the university and continue your your uh, your goals and continue to think in a progressive manner and pensamiento progresivo that means you continue to to do things right you never stop and yes. and i admire that right i admire that so continue continue until until you you feel like you know you never stop learning carlos you never stop learning. So yes. everything that you do, learn it and apply it. Remember that, right? Todo lo que se aprende, aplícalo en la vida. Aplícalo, yes. Apply it. And that way you will be, you will feel successful. I feel successful, right? I haven't accomplished everything that I wanted, but I feel successful because I'm doing what I, what I enjoy doing. And that's to teach others something new teach others a new language right and especially here in this country that a lot of people do not or stop their goals and they leave them to the side and then five years pass 10 years pass 15 years pass y todas esas metas se quedaron ahí. but you you don't stop you continue carlos you continue all right and it was a pleasure having you in class all right. It was a pleasure having your class and it was a pleasure meeting you all right, as a person. Me too. Me too, teacher. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. 
Yes, I like to be learning. I think that is very important for the for your own life because uh, never you have to stop to learn. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, exactly, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, you plan to take a technical or or professorado or licenciatura or what do you plan? Yeah. Yeah, for example, now I am a, te a mechatronic technician in mechatronic in engineering technician in engineering. Sorry, sorry. I am a technician in engineering mechatronic. Oh, but yeah. I, I, I would like continue with the engineering always in the, in the same uh, place in ITCA. <laughs> Yeah, okay. yeah, because I like the the how how can I learn there because they have a a, a good information. You can learn a lot of things there, and you can uh, you can meet a different kind of technology. And I like that. I like to be learning, building. Uh, I like to build machines or something like that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like to be playing. <laughs> it's like to be playing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for example, in my job, I, 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 I always, for example, I, I, I am uh, checking the machine because uh, we are building uh, a new, a new factory, new factory. So we are uh, looking for a, uh, 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 solution by the a lot of pro problems <laughs> that because <laughs> when you are building uh, things like that, you have to, to take uh, take in, in in account uh, a lot of things. Yeah, yeah, because it's a certificate place place. Yes, That's because it's a. A certified place, certified. Certified place. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So, well, I, I hope you, you succeed in that and just keep doing what you like to do best, right? Just keep doing that and I hope everything works out for you, right? Everything, especially in all those technical fields, all those technical fields, um, just be here on Monday, okay? Just be here on yes, Monday, teacher. and that way it will be the last day of class, and then you can continue. You can continue. You are you from uh, San Salvador or 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 somewhere else? I am. I am from Navisalco, uh, Navisalco, Cincinnati, Navisalco City. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yeah, but but I work in Santa Tecla City. Okay. Yes, so, yes, so yes. In, yes, I work in Bihosa. Yeah. Bihosa. All right. Well, it, it's great. It's teacher, great, right? It's great. So, teacher. I, yes. I I would like to to talk maybe uh, someday with you um, if we can talk about the how you can invest in the apps with the yeah. coins, coins. All right, with the cryptocurrencies right yeah so, if you okay. could someday yeah whenever whenever you have your computer and everything ready and yes. that way I, I can show you i can show you how right because you need to have a computer also not just on the phone on the computer yes. also all right sure uh, and would you recommend me some apps but by WhatsApp, maybe because now you have to to, to go to rest. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> some apps. Yeah. Some apps for 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 yeah, for to go London by to be ready when you can when we can. Okay, no problem. Yes, I will let you know which two. Cuál es dos All right. Yes. All right. No problem. No problem. Thank, Thank you, you for staying, Carlos, and you have a great weekend. I'll see you on, let me see, don't forget on Monday, right? Have you finished the homeworks? Uh, no, no teacher, I'm, I'm not 
in here because I was working, mm -hmm. but I was paying attention in the song. <laughs> All right. No, I'm talking about the platform in the plataforma. Um, uh, actually, I don't remember. Let me see. Let me see if I have it here. Carla. Uh, you you have it, but you haven't done the final exam, the final exam in final. The final exam. Well, I have it here. Maybe I will update it, but you have to do the the final exam, All right? Yeah. And that's yes, it. Okay, Carlos. You have a great weekend. Yeah. Take care and good night. Thank you, Richard. Take nice care. Day. All right. Take care. Bye bye. I'll see you. I see you soon. I see you on Monday. All right. Okay. Thank you.